What's up guys, Daryl from Smart Shooters, and today I wanted to drop some tips on installing the optics on your Canik Mete SFX. Don't know why that's so hard for me to say straight. After my review, a couple of my students reached out to me and was like, hey, I went out and got one. I saw your review, so I went and bought it. And uh, his optics plate is real hard, or the I went and got the same red dot as you, but it didn't fit. So I just figured more people might have those types of issues. Um, so I figured why not make a video? Now forgive me for always being in the truck, but I'm a firearms instructor. My lifestyle is very busy. Um, taking care of things, getting stuff in order because we got our own gun range that we're building uh, up in Idlewild, Michigan. Uh, so I'm always moving, always going. Plus I'm a stay at home parent. Uh, kids always going places, son's got basketball practice. I'm always doing something. So when I get slow moments, I figure why not film in the truck? All right, so here is our sexy, Canik Mete SFX. Yeah, with the Hollow Sun 507K X2 red dot. Yeah. So, few tips that you wanna remember when you're putting on a red dot. So I don't know if you guys can really see, but I use the optics plate that has the tab on the front and in the back, that vertical tab. Um. Your Hollow Sun 507KX2, if that's the optic you choose, um, does not, the plate is gonna have two rear tabs that your red dot does not have a hole for. So you're gonna have to sand those tabs. I just used my Dremel. Some people use a flush cut and try to cut it. I just used the Dremel and just sand it down the back two tabs until it was pretty much a flat surface. And then it worked just fine. Another thing is the original optics plate that comes on the firearm is uh pretty hard to get off. You you probably gonna want to punch, or I kind of made a ghetto punch last night with a screwdriver and a hammer. Matter of fact, let me show you my process from last night. Let's cut to that. In conclusion, three things that you want to remember when installing the red dot on your Canik Mete SFX is uh, one, make sure you got the right optics plate. Two, if you go with the Hollow Sun 507K, because the Canik Mete SFX only takes micro red dots. Uh, the concealed carry red dot, you can't run a full size uh, SRO or RMR on there. It's got to be the RMR CC, the concealed carry joints or something comparable to that in size. If you go with the 507K X2, remember that there's no holes in the back of that optics underneath. So you're gonna have to send the back two tabs uh, down or off completely of your optics plate in order to get that optic to sit flush so the, the threads of the screws will actually catch. And then third, just remember that that original plate that comes on there, after you take those screws out, it's gonna be hard to get off. Um, so you might wanna punch, you might want, like I said, I took a really thin screwdriver and just whacked it once with a hammer and it worked out fine. Uh, but I probably should have had a punch with a soft mallet or something like that. But you just, it's not gonna just slide and wiggle out of there, all right? Uh, regardless of what the Canik instruction guides say, 
Um, and pro tip, I did use the, the screws that came with my hollow son. I know the Canic manual says to only use their screws, but if you watch the video that I fast forwarded, their screws didn't fit. So I had to use the ones that came with the hollow son. Uh, if this video helped you at all, or if you feel like it'll help you at all, make sure you like and comment and subscribe. Hit that bell so you never, ever miss a Smart Shooters video. I've been dropping videos every day, y'all. I'm coming every day. I got you. I got you every day. This channel is all about the 2A lifestyle. I'm a firearms instructor, and I try to make videos about things that I wish I could find videos about or that I wish somebody didn't have all the extra commentary and things like that in the videos. So I try to stay away from that. I'm guilty of it too. We all are, it's YouTube life. But subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the bell. And uh, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.